The, the exhibition actually takes a start, takes its start in the late 1960s. It's not organised chronologically, it's organised more by loose theme than chronology. But the work, we've got 27 artists, some of them with more than one work in the show, and the work goes back to the late 1960s, early 1970s. It's working on lots of levels. It, it explores the relationship between um, between art and between craft and between the artist and between the artisan. It also explores, the, the, particularly in the West, what's become a kind of gender divide um, in textiles because I should also say the, the, the show does, does include a lot of work from around the world where you don't get that same hang up about art and craft or about whether women or men make it. We've got makers in the show from South Asia, Southeast Asia, West Africa, South Africa, East Africa, where it, the, where those kind of old, those kind of stereotypes and, and traditions haven't been so embedded. I was involved with art in, in the beginning in the feminist art movement in Los Angeles, um, where I was going to graduate school. At, California Institute of the Arts, and we had a feminist art program, and we made as our first project um, Woman House, which became a very famous project because it was done actually in an old mansion in Hollywood on just an ordinary street. So it wasn't made in a gallery, it wasn't made in a school, it was actually in a house on a street in Hollywood. Because you know, I've been teaching in art schools for the last 40 something years. And, and the very first time I ever started teaching Cooper Union in New York, all of my undergraduates, boys and girls, wanted to learn how to knit and crochet. They didn't know because they'd never been taught. You know, feminist mothers in the 70s did not teach their children anything about housework. It was like a political thing, you know, no, no cooking, no cleaning, no knitting, no sewing, you know. So these, so these kids grew up without any skills, so far as I was concerned, you know. What makes this political? I don't know.